y'all know the vibes. It is smooth lifetime. We are back with a banger today. And if you've seen the title and the picture to this video, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about the five things you should know before you buy a Camaro Z01. And this is gonna be a simple, easy video, you feel me? I've owned a car about seven months now, and it's kind of a couple of things I want people to know. If you're in the market to buy one of these, if you already, if you just bought one, or if you're looking to buy one in the next couple of months, man, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what to know before and what to like preventative maintenance and stuff like that, so you don't be out here looking like you don't know what you're doing. So yeah, if you're a new viewer, go to the channel, go ahead and sub, join the smooth gang, and join the smooth lifers, man. Hit that sub button, that bell for your boy, so you get a notification every time I drop. And if you like the video, go ahead and like the video, but let's get right into it. Yeah. All right, we're going to go over the first thing here, and y'all don't mind my, my shade, man. I like a cop, man. I like a big copper now. <laughs> but first things first is this is a 600 plus, 650 horsepower car, you feel me? 650 horsepower, 650 torque. Crank for automatics, that's what that is, but for wheel for an A10, is like 530 to 550 ish. And for manuals, for the six speeds, it's around like 560 to 575, depending on what dyno you're on. So they dyno higher in manual, but you feel me? The faster version is the one with the 18 in it. So let's go ahead and go over that real quick. So, first thing first, trying to get my shadow out the way. You will need you, please invest in a tire. Because it's like five, 500 plus wheel, you're going to need a tire so you can enjoy the car. Because how fun is it trying to race people but you can't hook? You spend the whole time. You can't really use all the power and all the torque on the initial hit because you're spinning. And the stock Eagle F1s that they come with, they're only good when you heat them up. But, like, they're more of a track tire. I wouldn't say a, a drag tire or, like, a road racing tire. So, me, what I have on my car is I have Michelin, uh, Michelin Aussies on the front because it's, like, 40 degrees out here. Michelin uh, Aussies on the front. And for my rear tire, which I highly recommend, is a Nitto uh, NT555R2, which is the radial, I guess, version of it. And it's a way softer tire. Do not get the G2s. Uh, NT, what NT with 501s? I think those are what they're called. NT50, something like that. The other ones, I mean, those are cool too, but all around, these do good. If, if it rains on you, you can get home safely. If it snows, I wouldn't recommend <laughs> driving these in the snow, but these are probably the best bet tire for like summer performance and also getting stuck in like a wet condition. So that's number one. It's a fast car, be safe, and invest in a tire so you can actually use the power and not be scared when you hit the when you hit full throttle. Okay, on to number two. Okay, you guys. So for number two, this is what people don't teach you. I mean, some dealerships teach you because some dealerships know. Let's see if I can open just one hand. Yeah, we got it in one hand. Okay. Some dealerships don't know what to tell you this. Some people don't know this when they buy a supercharged car. But you have to bleed your superchargers. Bleed, because if you get air in the system, it's gonna pull timing. It's gonna heat, it's gonna heat faster, and it's gonna be a way slower car than it is. It's not gonna be FMC, which is fully mission capable. You feel me? You, you have to because once you if you get air pockets in the supercharger, like I said, it pulls timing, it cuts power and you turn a 650 horsepower car down to a 550 or 500 horsepower car. All the, a lot of times you see people losing in a Z01, a stock one. Most of the time, I can tell. Like I seen a video of them losing lose to a scat pack. He has air in his system. Bleed your superchargers, please. And also, bleed your supercharger. Because honestly, sometimes they have us looking bad online, man. We be losing to They have our cars losing to this little stuff. But it's like, bro, if you bled your super, if you actually like did preventative maintenance, which is do your oil changes, your diff fluid changes, change your brake, your brake pads and all that, but bleed your superchargers, or you can get one of these that bleeds it for you. So this is a coolant reservoir, and this bleeds the supercharger for me so I don't have to constantly hook up to this this and bleed it, you feel me, manually. This does it by itself. It keeps pressure, it keeps pressure in the head of the system, and also keeps enough extra gallon of coolant in there. So I would recommend either bleed the superchargers or get you a coolant reservoir. They make uh, multiple ones. They got Moroso, they got, uh, some people actually make their own. They fabricated at different uh, at different performance shops, but yes, invest in that or bleed your supercharger, please for me, because you it'll have your car feeling slower than what it is, man. And Chevy made a beast when it comes to the Z01. So that is number two. Now let's get to number three. Shoot, since we got the hood open, y'all want to leave it open or what? Does it look nice like this? My opinion, it does. But 
let's go ahead and close this bad boy because the wind's going to end up closing it in anyway so boom just let that thing drop like that but what up for number three i want to go over mods to this car so usually people get a car for a couple months or a year or so and they be like oh this is getting boring i want to get faster you lose a couple races i lost a couple races <laughs> it's like early couple months of having, having this car so i went full in i just did minor stuff cat deletes did an e30-ish mix and an intake and a tune and the car picked up drastic i gained a i lost a whole second in my 60 to 130 which y'all can watch that video too i'll tag it up there but this car right now is faster than a c7z06 an automatic one a stock one and i put like two cars on like this car is a lot faster than it was when i got a stock stock for stock when i raced a, a automatic c7z06 he walked me by like two to three cars but now since i did a little simple mods i can beat a c7z06 automatic and his the guys that i ran i'm gonna I'm put the video up, up now i'm gonna put it in like one of the little tags or whatever Watch that video because his c7 z06 beats a lot of stuff that i haven't seen a c7 z06 beat and this car beat his by if we kept going would be like two or three cars so if i pass him top in every single time but simple mods like headers headers a little bit of e85 or you can go full e you have to upgrade the you either have to get an ox pump or get a big bore a low side high side and inject if you want to full run full e but e60 Pretty sure you can do E60 with the stock stuff with no mods, and or you can just add an auxiliary pump that goes from the actual gas tank to the to the engine. So that's cool to run E60, but headers E60, pulleys. If you want to pull the car, I, I suggest don't do that because you're gonna. There's already a small blower. The car is gonna overheat regardless. Like really fast, it's gonna heat so really quick with a pulley because Chevy got us these small 1.7 liter blowers. So we gotta deal with it. They're efficient. They're strong, but pulling is not the best thing unless you're gonna upgrade your your like heat exchangers ice tanker s or even do intercooler which that's a crazy concept too but simple mods like that ported blower bro you're blasting anything off the water like when i say you're like bro right right i, I can also show you right now in my car right now with this catalyst e30 and in intake i'm walking i walk the hillcat red like barely at the track at the track like we were locked in crazy and i walked the hillcat red so simple mods this car turned into a beast so be careful like i said stock at tires but if you start modding the car make sure you add tires heating accessories and stuff like that to help you actually and also suspension too that'll help you do digs and well actually and make sure you get alignments too because this car is pretty quick it gets pretty quick and crazy really fast it's a boosted car supercharged so simple mods really opens it up but let's go on to number four. Ooh, i got a big one for you guys i got a big one for you guys that okay before i say this all my race car enthusiastic people you feel me my enthusiasts that love the the feeling of rowing gears and pushing that clutch in dumping the clutch now at these times in 2022 you feel me unless you drive in like a c6 vet or like a, a over od like big turbo car honestly that manual is going to kill you in the long run here because I have proof that my automatic, matter of fact, my 10 speed, I'm gonna actually put a clip in here of this. So, my 10 speed Z01 with a it made 608 wheel. I'm, it's on YouTube already. It made 608 wheel. I raced a Z01 1LE manual transmission with an M6 that made 660. We raced at the track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that video in probably right now. After his first, he was like on my side. After his first shift, it was a wrap. Like for these cars being like 3,900 pounds, well, the Z01 Elite is like 3,800 pounds, I think, or 39 flat. That's the lightest version of the car, bro. For me to like basically jump out a car or a half a car each time he shifted, that's what I feel like hurts 
the six speed in a Z01 or a Camaro, period. Because, I mean, it's not a lightweight car. It's not the heaviest, but it's not a lightweight car. And if you love it, do it. I don't care. Like, you feel me? Like, if you're happy with your, with, with your, you never need validation. You feel me? If you're happy, that's your validation of how you spend your money, what you like it, how you like it. You feel me? Man, transmissions are fun. I recently relearned again how to drive, and it is hella fun. But, like, when you're, like, race car-wise, automatic is what you want to go with, in my opinion. And this is the fastest version of our car. Our car. Most of the time you see, you see the ones losing the Hellcat, stock Hellcats on, online is manual transmission cars. My car at 10 speed come on man like we eat up hellcats like for come on like stop playing i have multiple multiple like showings of me and my friends car my friends the ones of them beating hellcat stock for stock so it's above me man if that's what you want to get a man do that but in my for me i would prefer you guys to get an automatic if you want the fastest version of the car because chevy did a so chevy did a great job chevy and ford they both co i, co, I guess co-designed the 10 speed but chevy did a great job when it came to building this 10 speed transmission but let me show you something. Also, you don't just have to, you feel me, just push the gas. You can, you can, people say they like males because they're more engaged with the car, but probably talking fast. It is cold out here, but you can engage yourself. You can like self engage yourself into the car because you can always, oh, let me start it. You can always put it in drive. And put it in manual. Look, and now you're now you feel me? And honestly, I take full advantage of that because it keeps me more in tune with the car. It's about to play the music, but it keeps me more in tune with the car. Like when I say it keeps me more in tune, like I'm using the paddles. Like you can use the paddle shifts to up up shift or up shift and down shift. And and when you race, you can down shift to like your to your second gear, your third gear. And then the cheat code is putting it back in automatic once you take off bro gearing in this car like that's really how you're gonna win a lot of races just knowing the gearing which is easy to learn i promise you it is but that's number four is transmissions to pick what you want to be manual or you want automatic the manual is a better i guess track like feeling going around the track and just staying engaged your car but automatic if you want to win those races you want to you want to just punt people in the mouth when it comes to racing get that automatic i'm gonna tell you now that 10 speed is gonna cut up for sure you know what I'm gonna give y'all some sound clips. And y'all know it could have been a smooth lifetime video without me putting some sound clips or some revs in this car because my car is straight pipe. And I want you guys to hear how good this LT4 sounds straight pipe. So, I'm gonna get my lovely wife, Big Asia. You feel me? Let's start it. You feel me? You don't, don't, you know, just get, no, no, break, break, breaking. <laughs> See, now I don't wanna, I, I'm gonna have to cut it out. But go ahead, start it for me, breaking the button. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God! Feel that in your in your heart. Oh, oh, wait, hey, 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 hey! Chill out, chill, 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 chill. No, no, ready? Yeah. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now nah, you good? You, this, you can rev it, but not, no, 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 you rev it, but not yet. <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> she got excited. All right, go ahead. Shoot. All right. Give me a good one. Like, go all the way up and let go. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> She's a menace. I just wanted one. Okay, okay. Turn it off? No, just, just turn it off. <laughs> oh, this moving me up. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. You know that? Yeah, I had this car for this song. You know that? All right, I'm on three. Oh, you are a menace, bro. I didn't. <laughs> I asked for one rep. She did four or five more. And it's people walking around, walking their dogs, enjoying their time. And this motherfucker, I just wanted three reps. She gave me like 16. Yeah, that's how you do it. But it does sound good. But last thing, I just want to go over price. So the last thing I want to go over is price, you feel me? So these go for like 62K, 65K for... Well, a used 2018, my car is going for like 65K, 64, 65. Now, it was, I got my car for like 55, bro, which was seven months ago. Now, they're up to like 62, 64, 65. 
but a brand new one is like 68 70k so it's 2020 and up for a low mileage is like 60 70 almost 70k but you can get these cars for mid 60s or almost low 60k for 650 horsepower and 650 torque for 60k bro that's the most bang for your buck hellcats these, these this car beats a hellcat a hellcat's going for like 70k even the nice the wild wide body is going for like 75 almost 80k not no red i just a regular hellcat best bang for your buck a c7 z06 75 plus k which i do want that car <laughs> but it's 75 plus k this when it comes for bang for your buck in like a car that you're not going to spend too much money on you can mod it Tick, you put 10k in mods in this car bro you're beating almost everything on the road like legit like no gas almost everything on the road so my last thing was price my last thing was price because i wanted you guys just to understand like this car bang for your buck is going to eat up a lot of stuff like really big cookie monster type shit you feel me but yeah why why, is, why are you still in the driver's seat you're not driving <laughs> when it was stocks you were scared to drive it but that is it for my video if you like this video if you enjoyed it make sure you like the video and sub to your boy join the smooth lifers again like i said at the start of the video join the smooth gang we're at 1500 something subscribers let's get to 2000 man you feel me it's been really i've been like i'm in the cold right now like filming <laughs> so i'm dedicated y'all be dedicated too for your boy but y'all already know the vibe smooth lifetime is out <laughs>